Pectin from ancient Greek, pectikos, pectikos, congealed, curdled, is a structural heteropolysaccharide contained in the primary cell walls of terrestrial plants. It was first isolated and described in 1825 by Henri Braconote. It is produced commercially as a white to light brown powder, mainly extracted from citrus fruits, and is used in food as a gelling agent, particularly in jams and jellies. It is also used in dessert fillings, medicines, sweets, as a stabilizer in fruit juices and milk drinks, and as a source of dietary fiber. Biology <inaudible> 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 In plant biology, pectin consists of a complex set of polysaccharides see below that are present in most primary cell walls and are particularly abundant in the non-woody parts of terrestrial plants. Pectin is a major component of the middle lamella, where it helps to bind cells together, but is also found in primary cell walls. Pectin is deposited by exocytosis into the cell wall via vesicles produced in the Golgi. The amount, structure, and chemical composition of pectin differs among plants, within a plant over time, and in various parts of a plant. Pectin is an important cell wall polysaccharide that allows primary cell wall extension and plant growth. During fruit ripening, pectin is broken down by the enzymes pectinase and pectinesterase, in which process the fruit becomes softer as the middle lamellae break down and cells become separated from each other. A similar process of cell separation caused by the breakdown of pectin occurs in the abscission zone of the petioles of deciduous plants at leaf fall. Pectin is a natural part of the human diet, but does not contribute significantly to nutrition. The daily intake of pectin from fruits and vegetables can be estimated to be around 5 grams if approximately 500 grams of fruits and vegetables are consumed per day. In human digestion, pectin binds to cholesterol in the gastrointestinal tract and slows glucose absorption by trapping carbohydrates. Pectin is thus a soluble dietary fiber. In non-obese diabetic nod mice pectin has been shown to increase the incidence of diabetes. A study found that after consumption of fruit the concentration of methanol in the human body increased by as much as an order of magnitude due to the degradation of natural pectin which is esterified with methyl alcohol in the colon. Pectin has been observed to have some function in DNA repair of plants. Pectinaceous surface pellicles, which are rich in pectin, create a mucilage layer that holds in dew that helps the cell repair its DNA. Consumption of pectin has been shown to slightly 3 to 7% reduce blood LDL cholesterol levels. The effect depends upon the source of pectin. Apple and citrus pectins were more effective than orange pulp fiber pectin. The mechanism appears to be an increase of viscosity in the intestinal tract, leading to a reduced absorption of cholesterol from bile or food. In the large intestine and colon, microorganisms degrade pectin and liberate short-chain fatty acids that have positive influence on health prebiotic effect. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry. Pectins, also known as pectic polysaccharides, are rich in galacturonic acid. Several distinct polysaccharides have been identified and characterized within the pectic group. Homogalacturonins are linear chains of alpha linked D-galacturonic acid. Substituted galacturonins are characterized by the presence of saccharide-dependent residues such as D-xylose or D-apios in the respective cases of xylogalacturonin and apiogalacturonin branching from a backbone of D-galacturonic acid residues. Ramnogalacturonin I pectins RGI contain a backbone of the repeating disaccharide 4 alpha D galacturonic acid 1 2 alpha L ramnose 1 From many of the ramnose residues side chains of various neutral sugars branch off The neutral sugars are mainly D galactose L arabinose and D xylose with the types and proportions of neutral sugars varying with the origin of pectin Another structural type of pectin is ramnogalacturonin 2 RG2 which is a less frequent complex, highly branched polysaccharide. Ramnogalacturonin II is classified by some authors within the group of substituted galacturonins since the ramnogalacturonin II backbone is made exclusively of D-galacturonic acid units. Isolated pectin has a molecular weight of typically 60,000 to 130,000 grams per mole, varying with origin and extraction conditions. In nature, around 80% of carboxyl groups of galacturonic acid are esterified with methanol. This proportion is decreased to a varying degree during pectin extraction. 
The ratio of esterified to non-esterified galacturonic acid determines the behavior of pectin in food applications. This is why pectins are classified as high versus low ester pectins, shortham versus LM pectins, with more or less than half of all the galacturonic acid esterified. The non-esterified galacturonic acid units can be either free acids, carboxyl groups, or salts with sodium, potassium, or calcium. The salts of partially esterified pectins are called pectinates. If the degree of esterification is below 5%, the salts are called pectates. The insoluble acid form, pectic acid, some plants, such as sugar beet, potatoes, and pears, contain pectins with acetylated galacturonic acid in addition to methyl esters. Acetylation prevents gel formation but increases the stabilizing and emulsifying effects of pectin. Amidated pectin is a modified form of pectin. Here, some of the galacturonic acid is converted with ammonia to carboxylic acid amide. These pectins are more tolerant of varying calcium concentrations that occur in use. To prepare a pectin gel, the ingredients are heated, dissolving the pectin. Upon cooling below gelling temperature, a gel starts to form. If gel formation is too strong, cinaresis or a granular texture are the result, while weak gelling leads to excessively soft gels. Pectins gel according to specific parameters, such as sugar, pH and bivalent salts especially Ca2+, in high ester pectins at soluble solids content above 60% and a pH value between 2.8 and 3.6, hydrogen bonds and hydrophobic interactions bind the individual pectin chains together. These bonds form as water is bound by sugar and forces pectin strands to stick together. These form a three-dimensional molecular net that creates the macromolecular gel. The gelling mechanism is called a low water activity gel or sugar acid pectin gel. In low ester pectins, ionic bridges are formed between calcium ions and the ionized carboxyl groups of the galacturonic acid. This is idealized in the egg box model. Low ester pectins need calcium to form a gel, and can do so at lower soluble solids and higher pH values than high ester pectins. Normally, low ester pectins form gels with a range of pH from 2.6 to 7. 0 and with a soluble solids content between 10 and 70%, amidated pectins behave like low ester pectins but need less calcium and are more tolerant of excess calcium. Also, gels from amidated pectin are thermoreversible, they can be heated and after cooling solidify again, whereas conventional pectin gels will afterwards remain liquid, high ester pectins set at higher temperatures than low ester pectins. However, gelling reactions with calcium increase as the degree of esterification falls. Similarly, lower pH values or higher soluble solids normally sugars increase gelling speeds. Suitable pectins can therefore be selected for jams and jellies, or for higher sugar confectionery jellies. <laughs> <laughs> Sources and production Pears, apples, guavas, quince, plums, gooseberries, and oranges and other citrus fruits contain large amounts of pectin, while soft fruits, like cherries, grapes, and strawberries, contain small amounts of pectin. Typical levels of pectin in fresh plants are Apples, 1-1.5% Apricots, 1% Cherries, 0.4% Oranges, 0.5-3.5% Carrots 1.4% Citrus peels, 30% The main raw materials for pectin production are dried citrus peels or apple pumice, both by products of juice production. Pumice from sugar beets is also used to a small extent. From these materials, pectin is extracted by adding hot dilute acid at pH values from 1.5 to 3.5. During several hours of extraction, the protopectin loses some of its branching and chain length and goes into solution. After filtering, the extract is concentrated in a vacuum and the pectin is then precipitated by adding ethanol or isopropanol. An old technique of precipitating pectin with aluminium salts is no longer used apart from alcohols and polyvalent cations. Pectin also precipitates with proteins and detergents. Alcohol precipitated pectin is then separated, washed and dried. Treating the initial pectin with dilute acid leads to low esterified pectins. When this process includes ammonium hydroxide NH3 AQ, amidated pectins are obtained. After drying and milling, pectin is usually standardized with sugar and sometimes calcium salts or organic acids to have optimum performance in a particular application. Topic: 
Topic: Uses. The main use for pectin vegetable agglutinate is as a gelling agent, thickening agent and stabilizer in food. The classical application is giving the jelly-like consistency to jams or marmalades, which would otherwise be sweet juices. Pectin also reduces cineresis in jams and marmalades and increases the gel strength of low-calorie jams. For household use, pectin is an ingredient in gelling sugar also known as jam sugar where it is diluted to the right concentration with sugar and some citric acid to adjust pH. In some countries, pectin is also available as a solution or an extract, or as a blended powder, for home jam making. For conventional jams and marmalades that contain above 60% sugar and soluble fruit solids, high ester pectins are used. With low ester pectins and amidated pectins, less sugar is needed, so that diet products can be made. Pectin is used in confectionery jellies to give a good gel structure, a clean bite and to confer a good flavor release. Pectin can also be used to stabilize acidic protein drinks, such as drinking yogurt, to improve the mouth feel and the pulp stability in juice-based drinks and as a fat substitute in baked goods. Typical levels of pectin used as a food additive are between 0.5 and 1.0%. This is about the same amount of pectin as in fresh fruit. In medicine, pectin increases viscosity and volume of stool so that it is used against constipation and diarrhea. Until 2002, it was one of the main ingredients used in kaopectate, a medication to combat diarrhea, along with kaolinite. It has been used in gentle heavy metal removal from biological systems. Pectin is also used in throat lozenges as a demulcent. In cosmetic products, pectin acts as a stabilizer. Pectin is also used in wound healing preparations and specialty medical adhesives, such as colostomy devices. Sriamernzik revealed that pectin could be used in various oral drug delivery platforms, e.g., controlled release systems, gastro-retentive systems, colon-specific delivery systems and mucodhesive delivery systems, according to its intoxicity and low cost. It was found that pectin from different sources provides different gelling abilities, due to variations in molecular size and chemical composition. Like other natural polymers, a major problem with pectin is inconsistency in reproducibility between samples, which may result in poor reproducibility in drug delivery characteristics. In ruminant nutrition, depending on the extent of lignification of the cell wall, pectin is up to 90% digestible by bacterial enzymes. Ruminant nutritionists recommend that the digestibility and energy concentration in forages be improved by increasing pectin concentration in the forage. In cigars, pectin is considered an excellent substitute for vegetable glue and many cigar smokers and collectors use pectin for repairing damaged tobacco leaves on their cigars. Yablokov et al., writing in Chernobyl, Consequences of the Catastrophe for People and the Environment, quote research conducted by the Ukrainian Center of Radiation Medicine and the Belarusian Institute of Radiation Medicine and Endocrinology, concluded, regarding pectin's radioprotective effects, that Adding pectin preparations to the food of inhabitants of the Chernobyl contaminated regions promotes an effective excretion of incorporated radionuclides, such as cesium-137. The authors reported on the positive results of using pectin food additive preparations in a number of clinical studies conducted on children in severely polluted areas, with up to 50% improvement over control groups. During the Second World War, Allied pilots were provided with maps printed on silk for navigation in escape and evasion efforts. The printing process at first proved nearly impossible because the several layers of ink immediately ran, blurring outlines and rendering place names illegible until the inventor of the maps, Clayton Hutton, mixed a little pectin with the ink and at once the pectin coagulated the ink and prevented it from running, allowing small topographic features to be clearly visible. <laughs> Legal status At the joint FAO, WHO Expert Committee report on food additives and in the European Union, no numerical acceptable daily intake has been set, as pectin is considered safe. In the United States, pectin is generally recognized as safe for human consumption. In the International Numbering System, pectin has the number 440. In Europe, pectins are differentiated into the E numbers E440 for non-amidated pectins and E440 for amidated pectins. 
There are specifications in all national and international legislation defining its quality and regulating its use. History Pecton was first isolated and described in 1825 by Henri Braconnot, though the action of Pecton to make jams and marmalades was known long before. To obtain well-set jams from fruits that had little or only poor quality pectin, pectin-rich fruits or their extracts were mixed into the recipe. During the Industrial Revolution, the makers of fruit preserves turned to producers of apple juice to obtain dried apple pumice that was cooked to extract pectin. Later, in the 1920s and 1930s, factories were built that commercially extracted pectin from dried apple pumice and later citrus peel in regions that produced apple juice in both the USA and Europe. Pectin was first sold as a liquid extract, but is now most often used as dried powder, which is easier than a liquid to store and handle. <laughs> See also